G'day, Steve Morgan here from Australian Bass Tournaments and Fishing Monthly Magazines. Uh, thought we'd take the opportunity right now to talk about uh, some really uh, exciting to me fishing that I had in the last ABT tournament at Foster. It was the Daiwa round of the Daiwa Brim Series and I thought, I believe in the sponsor karma thing. I've, you've got to use the sponsor's product if you want to have the luck go your way. So, um, so I was introduced to the Daiwa Steez blade earlier in the year, um, just before the, the cancelled tournaments down in Victoria. Um, and before that Gippsland round, Tommy Slater showed us the Steez blades, um, put a few in my box and said they might do you well at some stage this year. Well, Foster was the event for me where I pulled out the Steez blades, put them on the Daiwa rods and reels and tried to use the sponsor Karma. Now, of course, uh, end of the day, didn't win the tournament or come, come close to it, but I did catch 10 fish over the two days and most of those fish I caught on those Daiwa Steez blades. And I did it in two ways. One way was the traditional blading technique, you know, deepish water, throwing to an edge, popping it down from nothing into about 10 or 12 feet of water and taking advantage of some of those schooled fish. And I did that each morning at the start. There's some cutaway footage running here. I used the heavier of the two blades for that. There are two sizes of the Steez blades. There's this guy, which is the, um, the five gram blade, uh, that fella there. And then they have a smaller version, the three gram, and it's a lighter, more finesse blade, a three gram one, and I'll show you that in a while. Now, the traditional uh, blading, fishing in deeper water, of course, I use the, the heavier, um, the heavier blade to do that, and in combination with my Garmin Live Scope, I could drive, I could drift down along these coffee rock banks, see where the schools of fish were, see where the boulders were, see where the fish were hanging off the boulders, and you could nearly call your shots when it came to fish. If I scanned a bank and there was no fish there, I tell you what, I didn't catch a fish, or if I did, it was going to be a pesky little flathead. Um, but when you did see a, a, a bit of coffee rock that had fallen down, uh, a school of fish in behind it, you could throw that lure in there, sink it down, and it was just a simple lift off the bottom and drop it back down to the bottom. So um, as usual, the fish would pick it up off the bottom. Now, one of the things I learned years ago when I was underwater videoing blades was the fact that on a sandy bottom, they don't just sort of flutter to the bottom and then lay flat because a lot of fish pick them up off the bottom, they actually dig down into the bottom. So the head goes down into the sand and there's usually a little bit of the metal hanging out with a treble hook on it. Now, imagine what a brim's gonna grab when it goes down to see what's going on. It'll see the little, it'll see the blade disappear in a puff of sand and then all of a sudden there's a treble sticking out, they pick it up. That's why when you lift and there's a fish already on, it's already been playing with that lure on the bottom. Now, one of the reasons why I like using blades in that deeper water, and the reason that I use fluorocarbon rather than a braid leader setup, is because these blades are fitted with, and all blades, are fitted with two really sharp, small hooks, and it's a similar theory to the stick minnow. While there's no pressure on that lure and it's sitting on the bottom, the brim can pick that up. They're gonna get tangled in those hooks, and by the time I add pressure to it, they often are already hooked up on that lure. Now, the Daiwa Steez blades have what's called the SAC SAS trebles, and that's S-A-Q-S-A-S. -A -S. Um, I've really fallen in love with these little trebles here. Um, they are sometimes difficult to get, but if you do find it hard to get some of the smaller ones, um, you can always get them from Mo Tackle. I think Mo Tackle have cornered the stock of them in Australia, but they are a Teflon coated, very sharp, very slippery, very smooth, um, treble that will hook the fish without any input from you and that's pretty cool. Um, so traditional braid blading, I'm not going to go too much into that because that was just dropping on the school schools of fish and the individual fish hanging off the rocks and then hopefully converting it into a fish. Now I didn't drop too many fish there but I did lose a couple because I didn't um, re-tie my line. Um, often when we're doing videos at night we, uh, we don't have time to re-rig tackle. But the fun part of me for the blading at Foster was catching them in one to two feet of water on sandy, muddy banks that have all cockles and, and no weed on them, but just uh, a lot of brim feeding areas. Fishing with the smaller three gram Steez blade, and that's it there, um, and nearly crank baiting the blade. Now again, there's some cutaway footage here showing how you do it. Like I've got, this is one of the new Caldias that's coming out two pound straight through fluorocarbon tied straight to that three gram Steez blade. And uh, 
when you're fishing that shallow water, first thing you want to do is have a really long cast and that little thing casts like a bullet. You can put it as far as you can away from the boat uh, and then work it. And when it comes to working it, um, you don't want a, a traditional sort of hop and sit retrieve because basically if you hop it, it'll hop nearly out of the water and then plummet straight back to the bottom. I'd use more of a crankbaiting retrieve where I'm winding that, I'm feeling it touch on the bottom. As soon as I feel it touch on the bottom, I'll just lift the rod tip a little bit. As that rod tip lifts, it sort of puffs up at the sand and then it crankbaits along for a little while. And you'll find that the brim, when they come, they'll see it, they'll see it puffing and they'll come and grab it. And again, those two sticky, sharp little hooks, that are right there. And these ones are straight from the lure on the tournament. They do get damaged, they do get rusty. You've got to be careful when you take them out of the fish's mouth with a pair of pliers. But man, they grab onto those fish. And, uh, and it's a really cool technique. Normally, I'd be throwing out with a crankbait in that shallow water and I'd just be banging that lure into the bottom. This thing is more of a, it's sort of, it's a flicky sort of, um, it's like a, a, a twitching, not even a twitching, it's just like a rod tip lifting, just a little variable retrieve that gets this thing going. And as you can see in the cutaway, catching plenty of fish. Now, because they've got small, light, sharp trebles on there, you don't have to strike big like you may do in the deeper water. As you feel that fish on, you just lean back and you wind that fish on uh, and it goes on. And each day I caught at least three to four of my bag fish on those Daiwa Steez blades. So uh, didn't win the tournament. Um, but did get to use a new Daiwa lure in a tournament situation and I love going through and learning new te techniques for myself. Now, what combination did I fish them on? These were uh, one of the new Daiwa in-feet rods. It's a seven foot five ultra light fast spin and I think it's in the EX range. Yep, it's an EX752 ULFS. So ultra light fast spin, um, perfect rod for it. It's also exactly the same rod that I use for throwing my stick minnows. So straight through line, two, three pound and a stick minnow, exactly the same rod as for this blading. Throws it a mile, is soft enough not to break off on that light fluorocarbon and it's very forgiving when it comes to landing big fish. Um, the Caldea itself, um, smooth drag, does everything. It's one of the smallest uh, divers that has that uh, the monocoque gearing in it. So. Uh, we had the Daiwa whole combo. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure whether it's Daiwa fluorocarbon or not, but the reel, the rod, the lure were all Daiwa. It was the Daiwa round of the Daiwa brim series. And if you find an area which has a sandy, muddy bottom, no weed, nice and shallow, and you need to cast a long way to get those finicky, finicky fish to bite, make sure you test out those, uh, the Daiwa Steez blades, two sizes. Now, they're a good, cheap blade as well. I went down to my local tackle shop. You can see in the cutaway here, I think they were at $12 or $13.95. They're at the cheaper end of what blades cost, so uh, they've got great hooks on them, good arrangement of colours, two good sizes, give them a crack.